hello friends today we will learn about kpi and kra so with along with some examples which will clear all your doubts related to kpi and kra so going forward to the next slide let's start with the kpi that is key performance indicator a key performance indicator is a measurable value that demonstrates how effectively a company is achieving uh, the key business objectives so basically it is uh, you have heard about uh, this term in you must have heard about this term in organizations that um, particular process is meeting uh, uh, whether meeting or not uh, uh, the kpi so it is basically uh, the organization use kpis to evaluate uh, their process progress and success uh, at reaching uh, uh, the targets so in simple terms a kpi is a goal that uh, uh, you work towards achieving and so if i have to say about uh, simple terms in examples so if you let's say you are owning an apple stand and uh, that apple stand to make yourself profitable you set an kpi that is thousand apples sold per day so um, so if there is a sell of more than thousand apple then you can say that you are in a profit for that particular day uh, i would also uh, 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 let you know about another example that is manufacturing um, company uses so in manufacturing company uh, to control the quality of a particular batch process there is a kpi that is named as dpmo and FD, a ppm so dpmo is nothing but uh, defects per million opportunity where we control and measure uh, the defects per million opportunity and parts million is a ppm is basically uh, measuring and controlling uh, defective counts so number of defectives in in particular million let us start with the kra that is key responsibility area these are defined as the specific areas in a job profile and employee is expected to work on it is a fixed outline for each job position that acts as a scope for the employee so it is a description of a job profile designed by the organization every position has several tasks associated with it that are accomplished by the employee hired for the same post let us go ahead with some examples to make it more clear to you a telecaller let us say a telecaller uh, uh, working in a, in a telecom company uh, is expected to call a particular number of em customers in a day from database provided by the company and so his and her his or her uh, performance will be judged based on the number of calls quality of calls and outcomes received so if it is a, a sales job so number of sales that has that could be an outcome received now let us take another example that is kra of hr company so will be uh, it will be a recruiting training employees uh, forming their appraisals and processing leaves etc thanks for watching happy learning please comment for topics you wish to see as a next topic on the channel we would try to make that video available for you uh, on that particular topic and do like share and subscribe for more such videos Thank you.